So I'm in this back and forth with a Jennifer Sullivan, a paralegal from Uber Technologies. There's her info. That's the legit address. There's a phone number. And there's not many 415 Uber phone numbers floating around there. But if you want to phone the company directly, if you have a legal beef with them, if they owe you monies, right? There, there are many people that owed monies on trips, unpaid referrals, Uber has this habit of not wanting to pay. Uber has this habit of not wanting to comply in California with the laws, right? They'd rather sue, sue, sue all day long. Um, in this case, she does not want to appear telephonically. The courts shut her down. And then she's asking for a delay. In my eyes, a delay is you're just scared to show up, right? You don't have your facts together. I have my evidence and my facts together. The bottom line is that this company said that they've paid me. They have not, right? And, um, you know, recently in the Forbes magazine, just a week ago, they blamed it on, you know, operational failures that they hadn't paid a lot of Uber drivers out. This seems to be their number one go-to excuse, operational failure, right? And you just don't get your monies. You just don't get your referral monies and they think that Uber drivers are weak, right? They think that the problem will go away. And they know that drivers very often cannot defend themselves because they've signed this arbitration agreement, right? So this is how they handle things. And I'm going to make it crystal clear to the judge, show them with a lot of evidence how they handle things. If you go to the hub, right, good luck. They have a method in place, and this has been happening all around the country. I will bring the articles, the proof. When you have an issue or a legal issue and you have not been paid, if you bring it up at the hub, they will march you out. I was literally manhandled and thrown out by five security guards, right? Not just once. It's happened a few times. I've seen it happen to others. I've had a lot of people report on this, right? So we will not tolerate this Uber and I will expose this in court um, in small claims court as well as in superior court. I have two cases against them, right? I will get my money and my message to Jennifer Sullivan, paralegal working there. She's obviously working for a salary, doing the paperwork. Don't delay and hide, right? Get on the phone with me. Let's talk about the issue. Let's keep it clean. Let's keep it fair. Let's go over things. They call that mediation, right? Talking, mediate, you know, before it gets really dirty. And what do I mean by dirty? I mean, um, duking, duking it out in court, spending money on court fees, right? And the one thing I do very effectively, whether in print media, in TV media, or definitely in social media, um, I expose these people. Right? I expose these people for the shenanigans that they try, right? Um, very often for the fraudsters that they are that they truly are, right? They try and not pay out monies. They withhold your monies, monies that you've rightfully earned, and hope that they don't have to pay you out. Very few people go after Uber, Uber and Razor LLC, right? So if you want to know how to get your money is back. Please contact me, right? There's a very simple procedure. First, you opt out. You can go through small claims court. And if you have opted out and you have big damages, right? I know that there are a couple of drivers, some of the top referrers that are owed um, over a million dollars, right? And um, some people have, have already sued uh, for $500,000, or more, Jay Credur, I think, is suing for $600,000, right? These are people that are now standing up for their rights. They've earned that money. Uber owes that money. And they shouldn't go and hide. This, to me, is a typical tactic that they use. Delay, delay, delay. She'd rather get on the phone. The judge is not going to allow this to get on the phone. There's too much evidence there, right? You have to hand in your evidence, your screenshots, your bank statements, and show these guys are not paying. So it saddens me when I read these articles that, um, you know, they use operational uh, problems or, or, or glitches to not pay you out. 
and then you know you're chasing after that money you need that money for gas it's just really sad how they treat their drivers so jennifer um work with me don't work against me i would highly advise you not to work against me um you know i i will definitely leverage my power on youtube and with my colleagues and with my newspaper editor contact list it's very simple when i want to switch on the heat i switch it on like that and uber doesn't have to be um you know uh, in this battle with me especially media battle where i'm connecting with the public and we're sharing their dirty laundry they don't need that right they're trying to get their stock on the up and up can you just imagine there's another massive class action suit on unpaid referrals unpaid monies right they don't need this right they want their stock to climb and um, until the public has faith in this company, um, I think we still have a lot of control and we can get in there and mix it up. I have no problem duking it out with this company, right? And I have no problem dragging them into superior court. But they have my number. I've already left them the message, right? And what my, my final message is keep it clean. Don't play dirty, right? I don't want this thing to get dirty because... Um, I had to do that with McDonald's Food Incorporated. I had to do it with Time Warner when I fought them. You know, a bunch of arrogant attorneys. It's easy. You can play the game. You, could, you bring the dirt to them and you do it successfully through media and social media, right? Social media is extremely powerful. Everyone has access to a Twitter account. Everyone has access to a Facebook page. Everyone can make videos with their phone right so don't underestimate your power and your leverage right don't surrender to these big companies that try and bully you but rather fight back and there my friends you have a number right so if you have a beef you know why not call jennifer and say hey jennifer i'm owed this money right um, i i don't want to go to small clams court I, I want you to look into this i want you to resolve this the hub is not resolving it your 1-800 number in the Philippines is not resolving it. I hope that a real human, a real employee, right? This is a real employee in California, right? A real paralegal. I hope you can resolve my matter. I'm owed $500. I'm owed $600. I'm owed $1,200. I get these text messages and emails every day from drivers that do not know how to collect their monies, right? From drivers who surrender from drivers who do not know how to fight back and fight for their rights, right? So um, I am a voice for drivers. I will stand up for drivers and I will bring the fight to Uber wherever need be, right? So you guys have someone on your side um, that'll constantly uh, keep on giving information, show you how to file these papers. Here it is. I filed these papers. This is a hearing where I will show up. And the reason why I chose uh, Valentine's Day on 214 is because I want to show them a lot of love in court, right? I want to show them what they do to drivers. I want to tell the judge what this company is doing in California and give them evidence, right? It's shocking, right? Judges should see this, what they are up to. So I am a stickler when it comes to collecting evidence a packaging evidence, making my case. Um, I get in a suit and a tie and I stand up and I have never lost a small claims court um, hearing, right? I don't like going there. It's a whole day. Sometimes, you, I mean, you have to show up at 8.30, 9 a.m. Sometimes your hearings at 3 or 4. It's usually a whole day affair. It's not fun, right? But I go there to win. I go there only if I know that I'm in the right and I'm fighting for my monies. I don't care if it's $5, $50, or $500, or $5,000 in small claims court. It's a principle. You stand up for your principle. You stand up for your rights. No one should be bullied. No one should be uh, mistreated, right? And, um, and, these, and these companies like Uber truly, truly take advantage of uber drivers i want to read the judge real uh, messages short messages from drivers here in california right so that he can get a better picture 
of Uber what's going on. That's my intention is to read out a couple of statements to see how, uh, so that he can see how Uber takes advantage of drivers, right? So again, this to me is a delay tactic. They're scared. They want to show up telephonically. Um, I will not allow that. I want to meet with these people um, face to face. And again, my last message and my last advice to these people before we go to Superior Court and this gets really, really dirty, right? Um, I invite you to mediate. I invite you to meet with me face to face. I have no problem flying up to San Francisco and sitting down with these people and saying, listen, you know, I represent over 50,000 drivers. This is what I hear every day. Let's, let's find ways of working together, not against each other, right? It is in their best interest. It's in their stock's best interest that they start working with the drivers, not against the drivers, right? Um, a lot of people have lost respect for this company. A lot of people mistrust this company. A lot of people are fighting for their monies and not getting paid by this company, right? So as long as the public keeps on hearing those stories, nothing will get better at Uber. Invite me up there. I will come up and we'll keep it really calm, cool, and collected, and we'll go over things. We'll sh I will show you how to build bridges to the drivers. I will show you how to treat the drivers well and get their respect back. Thank you very much, everyone. Again, you have a number there. You have a person call. If you have any issues, you're not having luck with the Philippines, you usually don't go anywhere there. It's a hamster wheel. Um, at the hub, you don't go anywhere. You bring up monies. They kick you out uh, with security guards. Now you have a number or, 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 or write a letter here to 144 Market Street, address Jennifer Sullivan, paralegal, or call her, leave a message. She doesn't answer the phone. Um, just leave a message and say, hey, my name is John Adams from Chicago. I'm still owed $400, or I'm, uh, I'm Ricky from Miami. Um, you know, I've, I've been trying for months and months and months to get my monies back, or I have unpaid referral dollars, blah, blah, blah. Call them up. Get your money back, folks. Have a wonderful day.